I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a uh, few decades old, I can't remember, 1970s maybe, Yamaha U1, which is the most common piano like of all time. That's what they, that's what Yamaha claims and, and I think they're probably right about that based on how many of them are out there and how long they've been in production, which is like since the 60s. And uh, they're still in production and they are still uh, cranking them out, still very popular, everybody loves them. Anyway, so this, what I talk about fairly often, because we do so much refurbishing here in the shop, why don't, why don't you do, why don't you turn around and, and you can see like, so there's the shop, there, or the showroom rather, and probably about half of those pianos are brand new, yeah, and upstairs too. Maybe, maybe even only a third are brand new, and then the others, they're all pianos we've refurbished, and so this is, this is actually one that we did for a customer, and this is something I talk about fairly frequently, that, that pianos, they last forever, they last for 100 years, and at that point you need to rebuild it, but, but really up until then, they, they will just kind of keep going. However, they really have a, a good usable life, depending on a number of factors, depending on how, how heavily it's used, and depending on, on the, the environment that it's in, and maybe, and maybe the, the quality of the instrument to begin with. But, as a general rule, they might have about 20 to 25 years of, of really good use, after which they don't need to be rebuilt, they need to be refurbished. And so uh, that's what we did on this one, just to kind of give you an idea of what, of what the difference is between rebuilding and refurbishing. So these, these pianos here, like this is a 1928 Mason and Hamlin double B. And, uh, and so that, by, by the time it's you know, nearing 100 years old, we're totally rebuilding it, you know, rebuilt the soundboard, new strings, we've rebuilt the, the you know, action, everything. Same with, same with all these others that you see that are just totally torn apart. These are pianos that are, that are in that pre, pre-1930 era, you know, like, like 18, 1880 or so to 1930. However, this one, 1970, it was, it was seeing a lot of wear, things are very dirty, and the pinning is poor, the hammers are, are improperly shaped from, from striking the string decade after decade, and so they, they develop cuts in the felt of the hammers, and, and so it becomes kind of a flat surface that's actually striking the string rather than a nice rounded point, which is the proper uh, shape, I guess, of the hammer, and that, that gives you optimal tone. And so that, that point wears away and it wears away and it wears away to the point where it's just totally flat. So you get kind of a flat smack against the, against the, uh, the hammer or, or against the string. And it also just sounds nasally and it sounds bad. So we reshape hammers, align everything, re-lubricate everything, tighten everything up. We also do a little bit of polishing. We didn't do any refinishing on this piano, but just kind of polishing up like the pedals and that sort of thing, make it look nice. But the, the real, um, the, the, the main, I guess, motivation, there, there are a lot of them, but the, but the big one is the regulation. Okay, so, so you have very specific specs, and so we have to re-regulate everything. The piano is intended, it has built-in adjustability, and so performing all of that adjustability to make the touch exactly as it's supposed to be, to maximize power, dynamic range and max, maximize repetition. That's what we're going for. So the goal, why don't we just look at it real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be quicker than I usually am on these, on these videos. But you can see like the hammers are back to, back to rounded. They don't, they don't have those, the flat surfaces anymore where they're smacking the string, but now they have the point that's actually striking. We've done a lot of repinning. There were several, several repairs. We did some, some voicing. Regulation, you can see, if, if you know what you're looking at, you can see the, the built-in adjustability, like the, um, with the, the let off and the cap stands and the, the blow distance and the damper timing and the spoons, all of that stuff is properly adjusted. And now, this piano, is it, is it absolutely like a brand new U1? No, no, it's not, but it's very, very close. It's very good. So 
crystal powerful. Anyway, so I think this customer is going to be very happy. Um, it's going to be uh, many decades of good use. And so one, one last thing that I'll say is just that a lot of people don't necessarily have the budget to, to do a full rebuild, but a refurbishing is a great option. So that's what we've done on this one. That's what we've done on a lot of pianos for other, for other clients. Thanks for watching.